Hi, this is Elton Fernandez. Welcome to India's first professional beauty channel. I think the country's long deserved and long awaited a channel that brings solutions to everyday Indian women. We're going to start off with solutions just for makeup and skincare, but in the future we'll bring you hair and maybe even nails, who knows. In my first episode, I've got the gorgeous Nina Manuel. You might remember her or recognize her from her show that she last hosted called After Hours. Um, this, of course, is before hours because nobody's ever seen <laughs> Nina without makeup. Thank I don't you. even think she's seen herself without makeup, but this is the first. And the last. <laughs> and the last, fair enough. Um, so the reason I've chosen Nina for my first episode is because I want you, the Indian woman, to identify uh, with somebody that's truly Indian. Her skin is be it's a beautiful brown. It looks like she's been dipped in luscious caramel with just a touch of chocolate even now. And I think it's important for us to, to love our skin for what it is. So this first episode is going to simply show you how to achieve flawless skin. So that's a platform to take any other look uh, forward. We'll start by prepping Nina's skin before any makeup goes on. This is Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. Um, I really like using a lot of moisturizer because I feel like it gives um, the foundation something to move with and blend easily. So just massage her skin with this. One of my favorite foundations, this is by MAC, it's called Face and Body Foundation in a number C7. Uh, I like this because it's like a tinted moisturizer, but the more you, you rub it uh, between your fingers or with your brush, it builds up and the coverage gets heavier. So I'm going to mix this very light foundation. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing on the back of my hand, just a little bit with a foundation that's a, quite a thick, rich uh, liquid foundation by Elamasca in shade RF240. I'm going to take a little bit of this. So like you can see, there's a little bit of Elamasca and a little more of MAC. I'm using a brush by Sephora in number 45. I'm going to literally stipple this together like that, right? So it's all well blended. Stipple on her face and buff the foundation into the skin. So, how does the brush feel, Nina? Well, actually, I was just going to comment on that. It's very, very soft. Yeah, it's very soft. Most women that I use this brush on uh, love how the brush feels. And it's not irritating on the skin. Yeah, and as much as you you might see it and think that oh, it's it's quite you know you can it's quite heavy, but um, it's, it's quite therapeutic actually, I feel. It's, it's like a massage for the face. So I love this brush. I'm going to use a concealer around her eyes, the inner corner and the under eyes, and maybe a few spots if, if your skin does have blemishes. The brush is number 217 by MAC. Um, I'm literally going to draw a line there, draw a line there. Uh, she doesn't really have, Nina's got beautiful skin, but maybe just around the lips a little bit. And just take the brush and blend. And like I say, blend, 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 blend is your friend. This is something I learned from an artist. Uh, this is Prep and Prime by MAC with a brush by Inglo in number 4SS. I'm going to take this transparent powder, dust off the excess, place it on the under eyes, around the nose. on the T-zone, so the forehead. I'm using a bronzer next uh, to add warmth and shadow to her face. This is by NARS again. The, the name is Casino. This brush is by Inglo. The number is 24SS. It's a beautiful brush. Uh, this is a lovely product to buff any hard lines. And then this is great to add uh, contour or blush. So I'm literally going to pick that deep, deep, deep brown dust of the excess 
and from her ears, I'll show you, from the top of her ears, under the, this is her cheekbone, you can feel it here, under the cheekbone and stop there. You don't want to go all the way till the nose, you just stop there, like that. So I'm going to go back and forth with that line and then blend this into the ears so you, it doesn't look, so when you look at it from, this, from the front, you don't see hard lines, it's a well blended bronzer. So just blending, blending, blending and again do the same thing on the other side. The beauty of Indian skin is that it takes on bronzer so beautifully. I'm also going to take whatever's left on the brush and move into the, this is called the perimeter or the hairline. Just put some product there. So it looks like a natural progression of skin into hair. Nina's got a sharp nose, so I'm not really concerned with contouring any of that. Maybe the jawline. So take the product again. A straight line from the ears until the chin. And I love a woman's neck. I think the neck is one of the sexiest parts of a woman's body. So we're going to look up and draw two lines, one on either side of the neck. If you're going to wear a nice slinky gown or something that's going to show off your decolletage, then we're going to take the bronzer. I'm going to ask Nina to shrug her shoulders. There we go. You see those beautiful bones. I'm going to go with that bronzer just around the, the collar bones. See that? Next I'm using a blush by Giorgio Armani. Uh, this is called Second Skin Blush. This is a cream blush. It's quite strong. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, right? Just to make sure I don't have too much. I'm going to rub it between my fingers and I'm going to ask my model to smile. Just pat that there and bend. Smile, 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 smile. Smile like you're happy to see me. You can even put this a little bit on your lip if you like, just for a hint of color. It's a... Uh... See, that gives a beautiful look. Uh, Nina did have really thin eyebrows, which she's had for the longest time. Uh, I asked her to grow them all out, so they're nice, bushy, thicker, uh, more today. But I'm going to fill in the gaps that haven't grown yet. I'm going to fill in those little bits and make it look more groomed. For the eyebrows, I'm this using one. a product by Benefit called Browsings in the shade Dark. Uh, it's got two compartments, one with a sort of a gel, a cream, and the other's got a powder. Um, I think I'm just going to... Okay, let me go in with the with gel first, just so you know what it looks like. It's following her natural hair growth, but filling in wherever it's sparse. Okay, you can use your hands to blend if ever you need to. I love these products by MAC. They're called paint pots. They're crease proof. So this is, this is a shade called Constructivist. It's a beautiful, rich metallic brown. I'm going to use my finger for this. Take a little bit of the product. I'm just going to apply it there. And with my finger, just run it along and blend, blend, blend. See, I might switch fingers in between when I feel like I want to blend better. So just keep rubbing that around the eye. There we go. The other eye. Once I've applied it, see, you can, you can always get this too, sometimes too much product. If you can see, I've put in too much product there. So I'm going to... Uh, take a new finger, a fresh finger, and clean that out there, right? And then just blend it. Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, just adds a little bit of depth to her eyes. Next. Now I'm going to curl her lashes. Uh, this lash curl is by Shu Amara, but you get them in all cheaper varieties. You want to just make sure that it has in, enough traction back and forth. So I'm going to ask Nina to look down at her feet. I'm going to grasp all those hairs within the clamps and then just press. I'm pressing repeatedly just so we get enough curl. There you go. Add that illusion of uh, thick, thick, thick lashes. We're going with Bobbi Brown um, Intensifying Long Wear Mascara. 
This is, the wand is really tiny and cute. So I'm gonna just ask Nina to look down and wiggle at the base. Wiggle, 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 wiggle to separate the lashes and pull to coat. And very quickly wiggle and pull, wiggle and also put some on the lower lashes, look up, just like so. And give it direction again. I happen to be blessed by Bobby Brown with this fantastic artist palette for the lips. It's got all the colors and I could ever need. Look at that. Okay. So for Nina, I'm going to go with something really basic that she could walk out in the day with uh, in a city like Bombay. Um, yum, 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 yum. Is there something you like from this? Blah, blah, blah. Um, this? No, that's too bright. I will say very kindly, no. <laughs> <That's> I, <right. laughs> I mean, it's a pretty pink, but it's, it's, I, I find it a bit much. This. So I'm going to go in with, this. okay. I'm going to go in with something that she hasn't picked, which is, <laughs> which is this. And I'm going to, so oh, this one is called Coco. The name of the corresponding name here is called Coco. Mixed with a little bit of uber pink. Mm. Smile, please. See. So again, cocoa mixed with a little bit of uber pink. Nam nam nam. Massage, massage, massage. Mm. You want to massage the lips to stretch out the, the skin. And there we have it, the end of our first episode. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so thank you, Nina, very much. Thank you. Um, she looks beautiful, I think. I'm ready to go out. And ready to go out. And the next look we're going to show you is again on Nina, uh, but I'm not going to tell you about that yet. Ooh. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.